Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen. I'm back with you with a new development that happened in uh, our gardening. Uh, the thing that you're seeing here is what happened when we decided to take a suggestion off of uh, YouTube or I guess in Hawaii they're using these these uh, blue pads right here to put seeds in them and, and set them over the top of a, of a bell system to to uh, irrigate the seeds and keep them from getting a uh, seed rot well we uh, did this for a week tomorrow and I had a new development that I figured I needed to make a video out of because this is what occurred that white stuff what you see on the top of it I'm guessing is mold or some kind of messed up situation there uh, I have absolutely no idea what it was it, it looks like a spider web or something like that but I know that that's not the case it's been covered and there is absolutely no way that anything outside of it could be contaminating it because it's in a container with a sponge underneath it and then this right here with the seeds inside of it it looks like some of the seeds are actually starting to root but uh, I just wanted to show this to you because it's very interesting we're going to try to put some peroxide in water and take care of this and get rid of it but I'm going to keep a close eye on it and see where it goes because this is really really interesting um, I didn't expect this to happen and I seen it so I wanted to take a shot of it and let everybody see you an update on the seeds that we've been drying out and show you some more uh, mold and mildew that's going on inside of it. This is uh, cantaloupe seeds and uh, peach seeds. The pe they've all been put in bleach too by the way before the before we put them in here. I wanted to give a good shot of that before I went ahead and sprayed it so that you guys can see what I'm doing this and this is after putting these seeds in the peroxide we sterilized them like suggestions on YouTube and they're still mold so Gonna so here we have it. it. I've got my bottle of peroxide that I'm going to put on it. I'm also going to use this. This is the bottle of soap water that I was talking about in, my, or in one of my videos. I've got suggestions to put that on there to help prevent bugs or stop bugs from wanting <coughs> to eat them. And then this. This is water with a one aspirin in it to help out. And I'm going to spray the seeds. That's with the soap water. Now the vinegar.
I will show you the, the development of the seeds, the can cantaloupe seeds that had fungus on them earlier. Which is a pretty good development. I showed this in an earlier video where it had white fungus looking stuff on it. I sprayed it with peroxide and the aspirin water and this is what it's produced so far. I just looked at it down here too. That is the backside with the root systems growing out on this one right here I accidentally seen it I thought it was coming up because I put it in backwards which I did and I thought that I it, I didn't know that it had a root growing in there so I went to grab it to try to pull it out when I went to pull it out I literally pulled the skin off of it the seed but it stayed here and it looks pretty interesting I don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to survive or not, but it started unfolding in the middle, so I'm keeping an eye on it. It's, tomorrow will be a week, and I'm going to transplant or transfer these seeds over to another container, which is bigger, and it's just a common container that we got from the store when we bought chicken out of the the deli. I'm going to use it to put the, the sponges on the bottom and put this over the top and open it up. The only problem I have with it is there's little holes on top. We'll see if it produces condensation like this one does and if it doesn't I might use a bag to cover it. For now, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you. I also want to mention that uh, I took advice off of another person on YouTube that wanted or suggested using twi uh, not toilet paper but newspaper to wrap your seeds in when they dry out I also went ahead and separated them because Robert was not really looking at it very good when he seen that all the seeds were mixed so it could I figure it couldn't hurt to separate them and uh, what I did is I wrapped the peaches in newspaper and then I wrapped the uh, cantaloupe seeds in another or some more newspaper separately and I put them in the same container um, I uh, will check up on them again to see if they grow any more mold and if they do I'll spray them again and put them in the newspaper one more time I'll keep doing it over and over again until it looks clear so I wanted to add that before I ended the video because I am getting a lot of good uh, suggestions so far and I'm going to start putting them to use so that we don't have any more mistakes like we had in the past. Start, uh, or start with my germinating uh, peaches. I am taking a suggestion from somebody that I seen on YouTube about testing peaches to make sure that they are good um, what he suggested first thing to do is to take your your pits and drop them in water and if they float then there's a good chance that they aren't good for germinating if they sink to the bottom then they're good so I dropped 
so far I've dropped six of men and one of them actually is at the bottom now but when I dropped it in it floated up to the top and then filled with water and fell back to the bottom and it was this one right here um, I am going to set this one over to the side and I'm going to drop the last five seeds that I have here in in front of the camera to show you if they are good or not so here's here's the seeds or the pits I will drop them that one's good that one's good That one's good. That one's good. And now for the last one. Those all seem alright. This was the one that actually fell or something started growing back up now it drops to the bottom where before it didn't drop to the bottom so I'm iffy on it. Now, what I was also told was to take these after I do the test, um, put them in dirt, and then germinate them by putting them in the refrigerator for two to three months. I'm going to do that. I've already got six in the bottom of the fridge, and I just put those in tonight. I'm going to wait uh, three months and then I will check them I was told that uh, he has an 80% uh, chance of success every time he does the refrigerator so I'm going to give it a try and I will fill you guys in on it when I get it done but I'm going to let these dry out first and then I will continue the process.